So, uh, sorry, I haven't been around for a few days. Uh, big week, logistics and everything. So, I've been, you know, focusing on this week. Um, well, here we are at one of the jobs. Uh, this is a whole bunch of tables set up down on the ice surface. Obviously, there's no ice. This is at Colgate College for, um, you can't see the TV screen, but it says, uh, it's a 1965 reunion, or it's, I don't know if it's a 1965 reunion, but that's the name of this rink. So, but it's a reunion for one of the graduating classes. So we set all that up this morning. And then behind me, uh, there's another party up here for VIP people. Um, you can see some of the tables and chairs down there. So uh, it was 280 chairs, 35 tables, ton of glassware, dishware things like that uh, we charged 35 cents per chair to set up and same thing to take down and then a dollar table up and a dollar table down that my office manager did and that's what we used to do and he didn't know or remember that we're actually charging hourly now instead to do setups $150 an hour which I think makes me more than 35 cents a chair and a dollar a table because yeah, this took like an hour and a half to set up. We did have a diagram, but there was someone here telling us a change of things here and there. So that takes a little longer. Um, setups, we only do setups when there's a diagram provided, like emailed to us a week in advance. We do not want to go places and say that goes there, this goes there, that goes there, because that takes forever. We want a diagram. And one time last year, I was, every time I had a conversation with this, the older gentleman and his wife I said we need a diagram and they were never getting us one and finally I was like as soon as the guy steps off the truck we need a diagram immediately and they were just like yeah 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 and you know what they never did they never had a diagram and it was just this lady who had dementia who had the crew moving stuff all over the tent they moved the tent around like five times wasted like an hour and a half so I have a pretty hard line on diagrams get us a diagram so that we can just do what we got to do minor adjustments you can do on your own if you need to but yeah we picked all this up monday it's all going to be just like this for us let me uh there you go yeah so that's it now i'm off to their dining hall to deliver 24 chafing dishes the chafing dishes are cool here because they don't want the sternos, they don't want the sterno holders, uh, and they don't want the food pan. All they want is the actual unit itself, the pan for the water, and the top. That's it. So we still charge them full price, $15, but we don't have to clean any food pans, and uh, we don't have to give them any sternos. So it's pretty cool. Uh, I'll try to show you that delivery. And just another quick reminder, efficiency. Do you see the door stop? That door stop is on our truck at all times so that we can do things like this, hold doors. Because right now it's only me on this delivery, bringing things back because we forgot to drop these chafers off earlier in the day because they were on, we had three trucks and they were on a different truck. So door stops are always on the truck. And it just makes it easier for me to do a delivery on my own or someone on their own if they need to. So this particular tent is not mine. This is a 60 by 90. It has two rows of center poles. Once you get up to 60 wide tents, uh, two rows of center poles is usually how it is. I have seen 60 wides with one row of center poles, but they are a nightmare to put up. Uh, they're just not as strong once they're up. It's two rows of center poles. What's nice about 60 wides is then you can have a big dance floor in the area if in the center if this was a wedding um this is not a wedding this is just a graduation for the college like i said it's not my tent uh let me show you their chair dollies which i don't like but they work just fine so they just built these wooden things um with attachment points see there's a rope at attached to the ratchet and it comes back down and then the ratchet attaches down over there i mean it's pretty innovative, 
but then you need a hand cart for each and every single one of these even just moving them around the warehouse if you got them on movers dollies you can move them really easy now let me show you how gross these chairs are do you see this like these are not nice clean chairs i don't think they clean them every year like i got chairs that are 15 year old 15 years old that we use magic erasers on and uh they look just as brand new you just got to take the time and clean them that's all so let me show you this tent from the outside what it looks like uh, let's see yeah so it's a nice looking tent uh, this top is actually kind of dirty I'm gonna take you down to a different field where there's another tent company which has really really clean white tents up uh, so this one's a little dirty the chairs are dirty let me show you the, their stakes as well. They make their own out of rebar and then they weld a bolt onto it. Uh, I think it's way more expensive and a pain in the ass to do it that way. Just buy regular stakes. They're probably cheaper than going and getting a bunch of rebar, cutting it, put a welding a bolt to it. Plus the rebar's got a flat end, so it's harder to get into the ground. So I say just buy stakes. Don't try to make your own uh, if they fail you're in big trouble because you made your own stakes but if you bought stakes and they fail then you're covered with insurance okay so now we're in a different part of the college these are also not my tents we got one two three four five frame tents behind me they are i believe 30 by 45s and then in front of me now behind me We've got a 60 wide, 60 by about 300. Uh, again, these are not my tents. I don't even ever want to be this size. It would be crazy insane. I hope they're coming back because there is no stake caps on anything. But if you see the stake bar, this has one, two, three, four, five stakes in it and then the ratchet is in the center one makes it way way stronger and then on the corners they do uh, same thing stake bars uh, three for each stake and one coming down from the corner diagonal instead of just a 90 degree angle so let me bring it in the tent so it's got lots of shivari chairs drapes on the poles uh, this tent and all these other tents are really, really, really clean. Like, really clean. Uh, I don't know which company this one was. And then if you can see above me, you can't really. Can you see? There is twinkle lights throughout this entire tent. Every two and a half feet is a thing of twinkle lights. So this tent is going to be crazy in here. And then out back are a bunch of 15 by 15s probably for the caterers and stuff and uh, then they got a whole bunch of uh, safari chairs and uh, farm tables which they look like they made themselves they're not really that nice they're just a plywood top stained doesn't really look that good but uh, yeah we got a 60 by about 300 one, two, three, five 30 by 60 frame tents, a bunch of 15 by 15 tents. This job right here is probably $30,000, $40,000. Pretty crazy. Not the kind of level I want to be at. I just, I am happy with what I'm doing. I don't want to be setting up this many tents and everything. Uh, but someone someone can do it. It's just, just not me. I'm happy with doing weddings and dropping dishes off at colleges and doing I'm doing good don't want to be this crazy you need lots and lots of manpower and millions and millions invested in inventory so I'll leave this to the guys who uh, are willing to do it actually I know this company it's they're called Taylor rental there's a lot of them but uh, this Taylor rental is about three to four hours away so they're willing to travel to do these huge things because uh, they got to pay the bills because they got so much invested but that's it that's my day Thanks for watching.